you know, to presume that their report had any credibility is an absolute and complete joke. But you won't hear that from mainstream media. You won't hear that all these pillars of Russia Gate have basically crumbled because this, you know, if you start connecting the dots, you not only see the run up of Russia Gate to where we are now, basically in a Russia US proxy war in Ukraine, um, but you also see a whole series of actions leading up to this. And whether that's NATO's expansion uh, to the east by like 14 countries, they said not one inch, but they've gone 14 countries to the east to basically now have um, nuclear capable missiles five minutes from, from Moscow. So we would be freaking out also as we did during the mm -hmm. Cuban Missile Crisis. So, you know, it's like a joke that that these dots are not being connected. And if you really back up and take the big view, then you have to recognize this thing that's called full spectrum dominance. Yes. To bring a bell mm -hmm. to full spectrum dominance is the declared uh, military uh, policy. This is official US military policy as established initially by uh, Wolfowitz back in the 1980s, but then in a whole series of formal documents that basically say the US um, will be guided by a doctrine that says we must dominate, you know, and particularly other uh, major powers. So that means Russia and China, we will dominate and we will fight in all spheres, not only conventional military, but also information war and economic warfare and sanctions and, um, and, and nuclear. And that we will, uh, we will undertake preemptive war including preemptive nuclear in order to do that. And, you know, this was basically an admission that um, you can't take them at face value about anything that they say, because they are committed to information warfare along with everything else. And how many times have we seen this? You know, WMD, the weapons of mass destruction that did not exist, along with a whole bunch of other things like this uh, Saddam Hussein Al Qaeda connection, which did not exist. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh, supposedly the the mushroom cloud that we were warned uh, would be rising from from Iraq because they had these WMDs. Not only that, but you know, you can look at um, going back to the Gulf War where they had this whole campaign about the incubator babies and mm -hmm. the savagery of the Iraqi troops and why we wound up massacring them, you know, as they were withdrawing, we just like bombed tens of thousands, you know, and eliminated their army. You know, it, 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 or you can go back to Vietnam and the, um, uh, whatever it was called, the, the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which was based on the destruction of a U.S. warship, which also did not happen. So, you know, you can take Mike Pompeo at his word. He said, <laughs> we lie, cheat, and steal. We have whole courses in it. And for anyone not to be mindful of that, as we are being drummed into perhaps the most dangerous war ever, uh, is just really like mind boggling. Can, can the institutional memory be so short? Do we have such bad amnesia? Are we so, you know, just uh, subject to propaganda that we don't recognize it, you know, at the most important possible moment uh, in our existence?